May the name of Jesus be praised, both now and forever. Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to the God Minute. It's Random Wednesday, and today is the Feast of St. John Vianney, the patron of Catholic priests. Let us begin as we do all things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and and my mouth mouth shall shall declare declare your praise. Psalm 27, Standing Tall With the living and eternal God as my goal and guide, fear and anxiety need have no place in my life. The very legions of hell lay siege to my soul, only to be thwarted by a power far greater. I have one primary and ultimate desire, to abide in the love and acceptance of God. Within His tender care, I know I am safe. My God does hear me when I cry out to Him. He does not ignore my needs, neither is he indifferent to my desires. He will not let me go, even if my own family should turn against me. He will sustain me and keep me on course through the dangers and pitfalls of this life. It is possible to know and experience God's love in this uncertain existence. Take courage. Step out in faith and let God have his way with you. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today I want to share a reflection on the following words from St. John Vianney. This passage is taken from his catechetical instructions. My little children, reflect on these words. The Christian's treasure is not on earth, but in heaven. Our thoughts then ought to be directed to where our treasure is. This is the glorious duty of man, to pray and to love. If you pray and love, that is where a man's happiness lies. St. John Vianney reminds us today that our happiness lies in our exercise of the virtue of charity. God pours out charity in our souls through baptism. With this charity, we are able to love him above all else and to love others from this love of God. This is the beauty of baptism. We become new creations and adopted sons and daughters of God the Most High. We enter into this intimate relationship with our Creator, with our Father. St. John Vianney lived his life as an example and model of charity. He reminds us in his words today that if we pray and if we love, we will find happiness. As creatures made in the image and likeness of God, We can only find true happiness and fulfillment through our intimate knowledge and relationship with God. We grow in our knowledge and relationship, in our love for God, in prayer. I have found myself often perplexed by prayer. I remember consistently being told in my confessions by the priests to pray more often, to dedicate more time to prayer. Well, Over the course of time, I fell into a bit of despair because I would do all the penances I could, I would say all my daily prayers, and yet I was left dissatisfied and really unhappy most of the time. Fortunately, God was working in these moments in my life. He was drawing me to a deeper appreciation for prayer. I began studying the rich tradition of prayer in the church and found that there are different levels or degrees of prayer. Vocal prayer, like making morning offerings, a blessing before meals, certain prayer devotions, are essential to the spiritual life, but this practice of prayer is really only the beginning. 
The church has always taught that mental prayer is essential to growing in holiness and happiness. And this is what St. John Vianney teaches us today. Our happiness is found not only in approaching God with what we need from him or by reciting daily prayers. Now, these are important, don't get me wrong. They set the stage for more intimate conversation with God in mental prayer. So we should all set aside 15 or more minutes a day to be in silence with God in directing our minds to some aspect of the faith, such as God's immense love, or his mercy, or Mary's example of virtue, or Christ's suffering on the cross. In paragraph 2715, the Catechism includes a quote from St. John Vianney on this type of prayer. It says, Contemplation is a gaze of faith fixed on Jesus. And St. John Vianney said of this prayer, I look at him and he looks at me. This is prayer, gazing on Jesus. He sees us and he loves us. He fills us with his love. And this is how we experienced fulfillment and happiness. I want to conclude with this prayer by St. John Vianney himself. He says, I love you, O my God, and my only desire is to love you until the last breath of my life. I love you, O my infinitely lovable God, and I would rather die loving you than to live without loving you. I love you, Lord, and the only grace I ask is to love you eternally. My God, if my tongue cannot say in every moment that I love you, I want my heart to repeat it to you as often as I draw breath. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we have the privilege to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, you made the priest St. John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal. Grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you and your loved ones in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us today in prayer. If you think about it today, take a minute to just say a prayer for your pastor or priests, um, particularly those that are um, in your life that have made a difference and have brought you closer to Jesus Christ. Take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.